Welcome back to Box of Avenue. My name is Chloe and today I am going to be sharing, I think it's the most requested video that I've gotten. That's my French range review. We have the La Cornu. I purchased it from William, Williams Sonoma and I've been super happy with it. And today I'm gonna to share a review and tell you all the things I love about it. When I designed my kitchen when we were remodeling, um, I knew that I really wanted this range. It's just aesthetically, it, it fit with my whole like French country vibe. And so I really sort of designed the whole kitchen off of the range. And um, I actually took my refrigerator and put it in our pantry because I had invested, this is definitely an investment piece, we invested so much in this piece that the fridge just didn't feel as special, so I didn't want it to take away from the range. So our refrigerator's in our pantry and the range is kind of the star of the show. A design tip if you're designing a kitchen is to center your range on your kitchen pendants or on your island so that you have some symmetry. I didn't quite know that when I designed my kitchen, it was really one of my first design projects, uh, but sort of naturally that's the way it ended up and it looks really pretty when you're stepped back behind um, our like peninsula it's centered in between our two pendants and the hood is centered and it just looks really beautiful i get asked a lot about our range and if i really like it like an honest honest answer and i can truly say that i absolutely love it i haven't had any problems with it uh, this is the La Cornu. There's also a brand called La Conche. My friend Julie has a La Conche, and I'm sure she has a video on her channel if you want to check it out if you're trying to decide between the two brands. Both of us have the ivory color or a white color, so um, you can see what both of them look like in each of our kitchens. Overall, I love it, and I am really happy with it. I Honestly, I don't have any complaints about it. I will touch on some of the complaints that I've read about from other people just so that you get a, a well-rounded review. The, the one complaint that I do hear from people is that it doesn't have a window front, so you can't see into the range. Um, so if you're baking cookies or you're trying to see if your chicken is getting crisp or your pie crust is getting crisp, you have to open up the oven door, which does let heat escape. Um, this doesn't really bother me, honestly. Like If I have to check something, I just give it a quick check. To me, it doesn't seem like it, it lets a lot of heat out or takes a long time to reheat once that heat has come out, but I did read a couple reviews um, and that's the one primary thing that people did mention. So it has two sides to it. Both are convection and electric and one has like a seven mode setting. So this side has more function. So if you're trying to broil something or brown something, it has lots of different features on that side. And we don't actually use that side very often. I primarily use this side. I think that I cook like this is sort of my cooking station, so this is where I really do most of the cooking. Um, so this side definitely has more signs of use. One thing I will say about the range is that it doesn't have a self-cleaning feature. So if you want to clean it, you have to like not self. You have to you have to clean it. You self are cleaning it. It doesn't clean itself, but it does have like a little pull out um, like pan, catch pan or drip tray, I guess that you can just slide out and give it a good clean if something boils over or if you have a big mess on your hands. So I did take that out and clean it and it was super easy to clean. If you used Barkeeper's Friends or a Benneke, which I love the Benneke, um, it would be really easy to clean out that little drip tray. The next question I get asked all the time is if it fits a turkey, if it's big enough to cook, if you're going to get this, you may not be getting a wall oven. I hear that a lot. And for me, I do a lot of cooking. You guys know I do a lot of cooking and uh, we host Christmas and Thanksgiving and Easter. All of the holidays are hosted here because our family usually comes up to visit us. And I've never had a problem uh, fitting things or being able to um, cook everything that I want to. So, I mean, I've cooked, I, every year I cook for um, a car tour and I end up cooking like 30 pies. And I've had um, cobblers and pies like eight at a time going and it's always been more than enough room. When we're talking about size, there's one thing I haven't been able to fit and that's a large, we got like a large um, take and bake pizza and that didn't fit, it wasn't deep enough. So that's the one thing I haven't been able to fit. We ended up just slicing the pizza in half and fitting it in um, top and bottom so it wasn't a problem, but <laughs> that was the one thing that I haven't been able to fit. Um, I will put a link below for the the um, turkey roast the roasting pan that I have my mother-in-law got it for me because I the roasting pan I had didn't fit and <laughs> if you 
literally had to saw off the handles one year. So I have a, a roasting pan that fits now. So just know that you do need to buy, I think it's like a 17 and a half inch roasting pan, but it fits a large turkey. It's just that that's not the size I had when we purchased this. They do offer an altitude conversion kit that you can purchase. We didn't purchase that. And maybe I should because um, sometimes my cooking times are a little wonky. I've noticed that it cooks things very quickly. And so when I share recipes, um, sometimes I make a note in my recipes saying, like, this took me 18 minutes, but it may take you 22 minutes or so because this oven just seems to cook things very quickly. It does cook things evenly. I have noticed there is one little hot spot in the front corner, um, but I think that that could be addressed if I got the altitude conversion kit and balance the oven a little bit. I think that it's more of a user error than the oven's error. This particular model is the 110 and it's 43 inches wide. A lot of the time when I'm designing kitchens we go with a 48 inch range but this it feels like a 48 inch range. I honestly thought it was 48 inches until I looked up the specs and I was like oh my gosh it's only 43. It's not that big of a difference but worth noting. Um, I like when I'm designing a hood to extend like an inch or two past the edge of the range. So whenever I'm doing that, I will do like for this, I probably did a 45 or 46 inch hood. Just my own personal design style. I seem to like that. I like it to sort of hug the range a little bit. And then I also like to do no uppers next to a beautiful custom hood. I just think that it really lets the range be the star of the show and let the hood stand out, especially when you are designing a custom hood like this. You can hold me to it. I just looked it up. The color we have is the ivory. I think that I've said in like blog posts or Instagram posts, I've varied. Like I've said, I think it's the blanc or I think it's the white or I think it's the ivory. This is the ivory color and I get asked a lot um, from people purchasing it if it feels a little bit yellow or if, I, if they should match their kitchen cabinets to the ivory. I think that it's personal choice. I didn't feel the need to match my kitchen cabinets, but my kitchen cabinets also came pre-painted. Um, I didn't actually pick the color for them. I had I had the choice, I still don't think I would have matched uh, because it's, it is pretty ivory and I didn't want ivory kitchen cabinets. The one benefit of the um, Laconche, which Julie has, is that I think that you can change out the color panels on the front. So if you purchased um, ivory and then you wanted it to be like dark green or something, you could purchase separate colored panels and switch it out. So that is one benefit of that particular brand. It has polished brass and stainless steel. Um, I think that you could easily do, we mixed nickel in here and I have some black too. So when I talk about mixing metals in, you have like three or four different mixed metals, stainless steel can kind of be a neutral. So um, the stainless steel here, it doesn't really show, but I did end up, like I mentioned, hiding my refrigerator because um, I wasn't able to purchase a panel-ready refrigerator uh, because I decided to allocate a little bit more of the budget to the range. It has five burners, and the middle burner is larger, so when I'm making soups or like a, have like a big um, saute going or something, I use the center burner. A lot of the time I have something decorative there too. But then on the, the side burners, they cook really evenly, really happy with them, happy with their output. Um, it's got the oven controls on either side, and then it does have a little, this little button. Um, it's a light on the inside. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the light. So I wanted to show you inside. So it has the light button here, and then this, is, this little green button lets you know when it's... Um, preheated when it is preheating this side you can just set the temperature the other side you have to set the setting and the temperature so if you wanted to do something special like broil or whatnot um, you would use this side but what's really nice is all of the different racks and it comes with these little cookie sheets I'll pull them out these are very used now I should research um, I'll research and put it in the description below, um, but if you can order more of these. These are super, super handy. Um, I plop them right in the dishwasher. You could use Barkeeper's Friend to keep them clean. These are kind of embarrassingly dirty though. I don't wash them very often, but what I like about this is that it has this little grill set, so if I have something baking, it's not directly on the cookie sheet. 
I like to have kind of that airflow, but then this sort of acts as like an extra drip tray so that you don't get a big mess on your hands, and then it just, you can um, set it at any height in the oven. And it just slides out, which is really nice. These also slide out and are removable. And then I'll show you, this is the drip tray um, that I did clean a little bit. It's still kind of dirty. Um, that you could use. I should take the barkeeper's friend to this and really clean it. But this is the drip tray that if you had a big mess on your hands, you could just pull it out and scrub it. Uh, this has a, it's magnetic. The door is magnetic. So you just pull it open like that. And then it's nice because it sort of self closes a little bit and it's weighted. Down here, there's some storage. We store some cookie sheets down here. And then I store the, the manual guide because I always forget the setting, um, the convection setting. So this is where I keep the little manual there. So in my kitchen regrets video, um, I think it's my kitchen regrets video, I talk about how this was installed, I think incorrectly. This metal piece should be flush with the countertop. And I talk about how I wish I could change that. I know I could change that. The feet can be changed. But they've caulked in the little, like, air vent in the back. And so I would have to remove that caulking, pull it out. Like, it's just, it's more of a project than just raising it up. But it is adjustable. So if you were to do this, make sure that you have it installed flush with your countertop. Even though this is a polished brass, it has a, a nice bit of patina to it, so it's not unlacquered, it is polished, but it has a really beautiful patina to it, which you know I love. Overall, I've been super happy with it, and I definitely recommend it. I will put a link to my friend Julie's channel um, to check out her um, LaConche review if you want to check that out too. I also have a full review with more pictures on my blog, boxofavenue.com. And if this is your first time here, I hope you will subscribe before heading on to our next video.